vending machine breakfast. See that? It's like flatlands and then this huge rock. Like the people on the bus behind us were saying, it's funny that it's part of the UK and it's the only part covered by a rain cloud. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. So we don't know where we're going, but I see everyone else who was on that bus going over that. This is pretty cool. This is probably the first, maybe only time, I've ever walked across a land border. That was uh, easy. Oh, this is the airport. Oh. We are about to walk across the airport runway. It's considered one of the most dangerous airports in the world. When there's a plane landing, they have to close the highway. Look over there, where the white stripes are. It just ends. This is interesting. Weird to walk across the runway. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was it. We crossed the runway. Let's go. The shopping and eating options on the square is thumbs down, but the view, it's okay. Back to good old British food again. What that looks better than it tastes. Usually if it looks good, it tastes good, but in Britain it can look good and taste terrible. Lots of money. Pound coin with Elizabeth, Queen of Gibraltar. Ten pence piece. Cannon on the back. And some sort of tree thing. Grooming. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Look, oh my gosh. So cute. 
So what do you think of the Barbary macaques? Oh, it's cool to watch them. I also think that I don't want to be too close because I don't want to make them feel threatened at all. She read all the signs. She read the signs. <laughs> Such a lot of noise for a little one. Oh, look at how they're so fast. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I don't know, I really recommend Gibraltar. What do you think? I think it's got a nice view and I think it's fun to see the monkeys. I am probably not the best person to ask just because I think I had food poisoning last night and I'm not feeling super good today. So you can take my opinion. Completely fogged <laughs> at the top of the rock. Good thing we took the cable car up when we did. Yeah. Let's hope the fog burns off. Yeah. I want to see some stuff. Look at them go. see something going on over there. Gathering. People have really cleared out. It's certainly destroyed looking. Smells in here. This is quite the path to be driving up. That's the promontory of the Rock of Gibraltar. That's Spain, so I think that is Morocco. Ooh, wow. Look at that wall. <laughs> Look at the pool. It's fun riding the mirror of that van. <laughs> Hitching a lift. Can we give the monkeys a tiny bit of food? Of food? <laughs> Cage, huh? Whew, what a clog up. Just overheard that the macaques are here because they were brought as food initially because they couldn't have paddle and stuff. There's nowhere for things to be. So they brought monkeys to eat. <laughs> and when the rest of us, 20 minutes later, come out of the cave and get in the bus. If anyone's missing, I'll expect them. This hill is incredibly steep. Camera is pretty much level. That's the trail. And that's the view. And that's Morocco.
This is a breathtaking view. We came from over there. Incredible views. I'm still just dripping. That is right, steps. Oh my goodness. Everything about Gibraltar is amazing. How they built it into the side of this rock, all the way up there, all these fortresses and things. The Mediterranean steps are really cool, but not for everyone. It specifically says if you get vertigo, don't go this way. I understand why. It looks worse than it is, especially from up top. In the stillness, you can hear people's voices from the boats. The colors. What do you think? Should I get closer? There's your reward. <laughs> Just gonna say, I would have liked to get to Europa Point, but I would have liked to see the sea channels as well, and I don't think it's gonna happen this time. Just the Mediterranean steps, and then done for the day. It's been a good day though. I highly recommend Gibraltar. What the f Is this seriously the path? Oh no, that bit's boarded off. The steps go down. That lighthouse is Europa Point. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get out there today. I'm too winded to talk about this. This is pretty intense. <laughs> up and down, up and down. Been all over this rock today. That's where I'm going. Bridge and another battery. Ooh. A little freaky. There is a path around, 
but I came for the bridge. Now's as good a time as any to give you some tips if you decide to come to Gibraltar. Um, basically, unless you're definitely for sure going to take the cable car both ways, you can just get a one-way ticket up because all the walking paths lead down. I think there were four choices and they all lead down so you will not use that return segment even though it only costs two pounds more. Everything is walkable but it's very steep so if you're out of shape you may have a hard time. The only thing we paid for today was the cable car and lots of bottled water. We didn't take a tour in a minibus or a taxi. We didn't pay to go into any of the attractions. Um, it's a natural reserve and they make it sound like you have to buy a ticket to go into the natural reserve, but you don't. All you have to do is take the cable car up and it's completely free to walk around as much as you want. And then if you do decide to go into the cave or the sea channels or whatever, then it costs. But I didn't do that. You can easily spend the entire day just looking at the, the cocks, which are everywhere, everywhere. And walking the Mediterranean steps as I did, or choosing another path, it's up to you. Doesn't cost you a thing. And I recommend it because Gibraltar is actually really cool. The rock is amazing. <laughs> like, like, look at this. The town itself is a bit, uh, just not very nice. There's nothing there, it's just duty-free shops. But the rock is amazing. The nature reserve, the views from the rock, you can see across to Morocco, you can see the Atlantic meeting the Mediterranean. The strait all the way across is eight miles wide. So it's really not that far and you can watch huge ships going in and out. It's incredible. You should definitely go to Gibraltar. I do, like I was saying earlier, I don't know anyone who's been to Gibraltar. No one talks about going to Gibraltar or wanting to go to Gibraltar or having been to Gibraltar. But I reckon it's worthwhile. Legend says, if the macaques ever leave the rock, so will the British and the territory will go back to Spain. But I don't think that's gonna happen either. Either the macaques leaving or Gibraltar going back to Spain. And also, please, these are wild animals. Give them some space. They're incredibly cool, but give them some space. Sheesh, still got a long way to go. That's where I need to go. Rockfall area. Good thing the footpaths on this side. Oh, so many stairs. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm just sending you an email. I went and I got the Wi-Fi. Oh, I don't think I actually mentioned it, but we split up up on the rock, and two hours and 20, 30 minutes later. We have met each other again, down at the bottom, at the cable car station where we started today. <sighs> so, long day. I think we're just gonna get some postcards and gelato, and then head back to Spain, check into our Airbnb, and have showers and all that stuff. So, see you another day. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after that. Maybe the day after that. We'll see. Joining the mass exodus from Gibraltar. Mm. It's stopped. That means it's a plane.
like that though. Like, the door was open. All the security gates were closed. No security, you just walk right through. The guy who was checking your IDs didn't even look. He was doing something else. And that was it. So I believe that was the easiest border crossing ever. Nice view. Gibraltar. I, I recommend it. The statue between two fast food chains. Kind of crunchy over here. Oh, yeah. It's interesting because Gibraltar is one of those places that you never hear of anyone who's been there or wants to go. And yet here we are. Because I wanted to go. It's kind of a weird place. I get the feeling people come here for the same reasons they go to Monaco or Andorra to buy stuff duty free. Probably one of the ugliest marinas I have ever seen. A rather unlovely marina. I'm having a waterfall apartment right there. Cruise ship really coming in. They're so tempting. It just makes you want to go out on the boat. <laughs> I think you can have a pot as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah. My cat and I were both kind of like not looking at each other. Wanted, you know, it's like so casual. Yeah, and then we both like caught each other looking at each other. <laughs> One up, one down. Equally steep. Getting to see some caves after all. What were your thoughts on Gibraltar? Oh, I I liked going up. I liked taking the car right up. I liked going up and seeing the monkeys and stuff. I, I thought it was an interesting experience. I'm glad I did it. I don't know if I'd come back. <laughs> but I'm glad I tried it. Yeah, I don't know if there's really any reason to come back, even as someone who enjoyed it. Two prices for everything pounds, euros, pounds, euros, pounds, euros.